Today, I show you the curves effect. You use it to adjust brightness and contrast and even to color correction. Yeah, hello and welcome to this new Guru lesson and in this After Effects tutorial I'm going to show you the curves effect. And this effect is a really, really important effect because you can do so many different things with it. So it can be used to adjust basically any aspect of your uh, of your color. Yeah, you can use it for color correction to make your image lighter, darker, add contrast, whatever. So it's really the essential effect for color correction. So let's apply it to our uh, composition here. Yeah, we have already prepared here a layer with our footage and now we want to adjust its color using the curves effect. So we just drag it here onto the footage. So in the previous lesson you've seen that you can apply such effect to adjustment layers, but if we only want to affect this one layer, and this is the only thing we have here, you do not need to keep it on a separate layer, but can also put it on the layer itself. Now the curves effect consists of this one uh, graph here, yeah, this line, and you can click on it and modify it to adjust your image. And the aim of this tutorial now is that you need, or I want you to understand what this line means and how you need to change it to get what kind of effect, yeah, such that you do not just play with it uh, without really understanding what is going on, but really to understand what is happening here. And the exact same effect also exists in Photoshop. Um, and I think there it's more easy to understand first. So therefore let's now quickly switch to Photoshop. I've unfortunately only a German version here, but in your English version, you could go to image, uh, uh, correct or color correct or something like that. And then graduationskurven, it's called in German. So it's something with curved in it. Yeah, And then you have here these this curve line and what I like better in the Photoshop version is that you see here this color gradient and this color gradient effectively explains you what is going on here. So what this line says is how the color values or the lightness values of the original image are mapped to values of the final result. Yeah. So for example uh, this point here of the curve tells that 50% gray of the input maps to or results in 50% gray in the output and 100% white in the input becomes 100% white in the output. Uh, on the other hand, if you want to make your image now darker, so you do not want to have 100% white to get to become 100% white, but it should become darker, you can move this point here down. And if I do this, you can immediately see the image becomes darker, yeah, because 100% white in the original image is in the result this gray value here. Yeah. With the same idea, of course, you can also move this point and say 100% black should become something like this gray value. Yeah, 100% black, this input should become this output here, which makes the entire image effectively much lighter. And this is a way to make elements lighter or darker. Of course, if the, or brighter, if the image should be brighter, here you seem to also lose uh, some quality or so. Yeah, So brightening the image in that way doesn't really look very natural. And this is because if you make black this 80% gray or something like this, you effectively erase everything that is, uh, so or you have no really dark pixels in your image anymore. Therefore, a much nicer way to make it brighter is to say, uh, I take me here an additional point by clicking and here also in another additional point, maybe like this. Yeah. And so this now says something like, uh, I still want to allow very dark, so 100% black still remains 100% black, but if you go a little bit lighter, it becomes here in the result a lot lighter. Yeah. In other words, you do not forbid 100% black completely, but you just make it occur less frequently. Yeah. So brighten your image 
by choosing a curve that makes here in this darker part maps the colors of this darker parts to here uh, brighter colors. Yeah? So this more or less dark gray becomes here already 50% gray, which is much lighter. But you see that this looks really more contrasty than if I simply uh, move this here up. Yeah, so the image becomes also lighter, but it by far not looks that good. Okay, talking about contrast, you can see if I disallow here the very white elements, yeah, so it's like white maps now to 25% gray and black to 75%. Yeah, in total, the image didn't get brighter or less bright because uh, yeah, I made both the dark elements uh, less dark and then the light elements less light. So in total, I've just lost a lot of contrast. Huh? But what you usually want is, of course, to have more contrast than you had before. And how can you do this? I mean, you cannot move this point here in the opposite direction. Yeah, move it below because 100% black cannot get more than 100% black. And 100% white cannot become more than 100% white. So what you therefore can do is to say, okay, 100% white must stay 100% white, but in but the other light areas of the picture, yeah, these ones here, should become even lighter. So make the light portions even lighter. And the dark regions of the image, so this half, should get even darker. Yeah. So if you have such a kind of S-curve, it says make the bright regions brighter and make the dark regions darker. And this, in total, results in more contrast. Yeah? So you can make this less subtile or uh, more subtile. So now we have more contrast than before. If you swap the S-curve, say we want to make the dark elements lighter and the light elements darker, you can see we lose contrast. Yeah? So this image looks much less contrasty. So the normal S-curve, more contrast. This S-curve here, so this inverted S-curve, um, less contrast. Okay, I hope this gave you a brief idea of how you can uh, modify contrast and uh, uh, in general how, how light your image is. And now the next thing I want to show you is that you can do this also for individual color channels. Yeah, for this let's back switch back to After Effects. So again, here this curve has exactly the same meaning. Yeah, so you can see now I make uh, the very dark elements much brighter, and everything very bright here becomes uh, basically 100% white. Yeah, so I brightened my image quite a lot. And if I instead now do here some kind of S-curve, for example. Yeah, so such such an S-curve will increase my contrast. And, uh, sorry, this S-curve will decrease the contrast and this shape like this, this S-curve will increase my contrast. And now I do not want to do this for the entire image. So I click these points and move them away to get rid of them. But I now want to influence individual color channels. And this can be done by choosing here in instead of RGB, the red, green, or blue channel uh, independently. Yeah, so I can, for example, say, I want to have more green in my image. So what do I do? I make the green channel more light. Yeah, so I brighten up my image by making everything more green. Now you can see really everything becomes more green. If you want to say the, li the, the light regions the bright regions should uh, get greener and the other areas not. Yeah? Make sure that this lower part looks more or less like a straight line. And now you can see the dark regions here have not much influence of the green, but the light regions here and here are much influenced by the green. Now, now you can compensate, can say for example, okay, uh, let's say we want the dark regions to become blue. Yeah? So we take the blue channel and make it more in the dark regions and in the light regions it should not be have so much influence. Yeah, here we brightened up so we made the blue more visible in the dark regions. Now you see that the dark areas here become bluish and these areas are still uh, tinted more green. 
uh, you can even reduce this here more and now you subtract if uh, effectively blue from the lighter regions which makes the lighter regions now become yellow so of course this does not yet look like a really artistic image but i hope it gave you some idea yeah i hope you are able now to interpret this curve here and understand what it means and again if you just want to change the brightness of your image adjust the rgb curve yeah of course you can do this here still on top say now i wanted the entire image to be brighter or not as bright um, and go to the different color channels to really modify the color and the look of your image. Okay, that's it for this Guru lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, my name is Matthias for marmoworld.com and I hope you join again for the next Guru lesson. <laughs>